What is going on guys? It has been a hot minute since I made a YouTube video, um, but I kind of just wanted to come on here and just sort of announce, first of all, that I am indeed alive. Um, my absence uh, was just because I felt a little bit burned out when it came to making YouTube videos. Uh, just because I feel like I put so much work into them and then they don't really perform as well as I want to. And I know that's not an excuse uh, to just stop doing them because, you know, I'm going to come back. But sometimes it's good just to take a little bit of a break, uh, take a little bit of a step back. Um, and I just worked out, so I feel, I feel like really good right now. So I thought that I would just kind of sit in front of the camera and just talk to you guys a little bit about what's happened in the past month. Um, cause there have been, uh, some pretty, pretty big changes, um, as far as my life goes. Uh, it's been pretty hectic, uh, but I think things are finally starting to slow down, um, a little bit. Um, the first thing is, uh, as of two and a half weeks ago, I quit my day job. Uh, so if you've been following for a really long time, you know that I was working uh, a nine to five job as a production manager. And I pretty much decided, uh, that I didn't want to do that anymore. I got super antsy. I turned to my two week notice. I quit my job. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I did that. It's given me a lot more time uh, to pursue the things that I want to do. And this being one of them, I'm slowly getting a slow start to it, but we're going to slowly get it back up and running again. Um, but it's given me a lot more free time. Uh, and I'm also doing personal coaching now online. Uh, so I'm giving people like meal plans and I'm doing fitness plans. I'm doing that. Um, as my job, but then that also combined with uh, in-person personal training uh, at a local gym, Access Fitness in Bozeman, Montana. Um, so I just pretty much found that uh, working, uh, that managing job just didn't make uh, financial sense anymore to spend 40 hours a week there. And I was just getting super bogged down and tired. I felt myself like super, super antsy when I was working there. I wasn't fully focused on that work because all I could think about was like other things that I wanted to be doing with my time. Uh, so I ended up quitting. Um, and right now, like I'm in a great place, uh, because, uh, God really provided, uh, the past couple weeks, uh, he basically provided me with enough clients to make it so that like, I, I'm doing a lot better right now than I was when I was working my job. So it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, he's provided me with a lot of, uh, online coaching clients and in-person clients. I just love the job. Like I love working with people. I love training people. Fitness is my passion. It's, it's just so great to be able to do it all day. Um, and originally I was a little bit scared about getting burned out and that's something that could definitely happen in the future, but it's something that has not happened. And I, I, I just, I really enjoy it right now. So I'm going to see how long personal training and online coaching, uh, lasts for me. So if you guys are interested be sure to head over to brandonclarkfitness.com and fill out an application and if you live in the Bozeman area hit me up uh, because I am I do have a couple extra slots when it comes to personal training um, but then one thing that also uh, happened in the middle of all of that uh, after I turned in my two weeks is I ended up breaking up with my girlfriend again and so if you guys have been following for a while you'll know that we split up uh, over the summer um, and then we just recently uh, split up again um, so uh, that was sort of a big switch up uh, that was also happening like when I was quitting my job and so things have been things have been like very very crazy um, a lot of like emotions and trying to figure out like what the right path is and I think that I made uh, the right call um, but right now what I think uh, that I really want to get focused on is my coaching my personal training um, but then I also want to focus on uh, just getting better at uh, managing the things that happen to me uh, pretty much what I have found um, in my experience with life is that life is like 5% what happens to you and it's like 95% how you choose to let it affect your life. Um, and I think that I did a really, really bad job of that. Um, last time I was like really, really down bad, um, which if you've been following for years, you'll know that I moved down to Texas um, and I did the whole swole house thing and that ended up following through. I was like borderline suicidal after all of that um, and it was just absolutely terrible. Um, and pretty much what I realized is that I really let that affect me because you can either play victim to the circumstances of everything that's happening to you in your life or you can simply choose to not let it affect you 
or to have it affect you differently. And instead of saying, oh my gosh, this is so terrible, saying like, what can I learn from this? How is it gonna make me a better person? Um, and that is really what I've been working a lot on uh, the past couple weeks. Um, and yeah, just training my butt off really, really helps <laughs> as well. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update before I start posting uh, regular content on here. Again, uh, that's not as, quite as gloomy um, and down as this video uh, might sound to you guys. Um, but I will be making a lot more YouTube videos with Hayden. Uh, and we've been doing podcasts actually. So if you follow the Pumped Up podcast, uh, be sure, if you don't follow the Pumped Up podcast, be sure to go do that uh, because we've been posting pretty regularly uh, podcasts over there and that's where I've spent most of my uh, YouTube energy over the past couple weeks. Um, so be sure to go check that out. Um, a lot of new content coming soon. Uh, I'm deep into the off season right now. Not super deep, but we're starting to get deep into the off season right now. So I'm getting pretty chunky and trying to put on weight and trying to get up to like 220 pounds. We'll see where it goes. But um, hopefully next time we step on stage, it'll be like a totally different package and we'll have filled in a lot of the gaps. So I'm looking forward to it and stay tuned for the next video. And be, if you guys enjoyed this one, uh, be sure to drop a like down below um, and a comment. I appreciate all of you guys very much. Code beat on on Rise, Whole Strength, and Young LA. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.